Today we're going to be unboxing the Smart Air Blast Mini Mark II. And we've already reviewed and tested the Mark I, so I'm really excited to see what improvements they've made to the Mark II. This device was great for large spaces and it didn't make too much noise, hitting only 49 decibels. So I'm excited to jump in and get on with the unboxing. should not be a luxury. So one of the interesting things about Smart Air is that they put all of their profits back into helping more people get clean air, which is rare in the air purifier space, but certainly a reason why I'm a big fan of them. This is a big device, as we saw with the Mark I. So it's good that they've given lots of, I think this seems to be the plug, let's have a look. which is great. As with the Mark 1, this is a pretty heavy device, but hopefully it will gonna just as you can see it comes on wheels. very similar to the Mark 1. Oh well, yeah, let's have a full turn around. As you can see on the back, you've got the, the main fan with the guard. It's super simple like we saw with the Mark 1. No uh, auto mode, app functions, none of that rubbish. It's just a simple switch. Um, yeah, it's like I say, it's large. It's fairly heavy, but hopefully it's going to do really well in the performance test. So I got this device with the UK plug, but if you buy it in the US, you will get a US plug that will fit exactly in the same way. So what do you get for $600? So let's have a look at the filters. We can see here, if you open the device, this is very similar to what we saw with the Blast Mini. And this is one of the largest HEPA filters I've seen. Um, Smart Air designed it so that it would use a large surface area so it could still move enough air but without being too loud like we see with some other devices. Now we have just testing out the HEPA filter version. There is a version that has the carbon filter which we'll be testing in future videos but we just want to see how quick it was at removing particles from the air. So we're going to be testing this device this week looking at performance, particle removal, energy usage, sound levels. So we're hoping to get that live at the end of the month, so be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel to see the review as soon as it goes live. 